My name is Pietro Martucci, I'm Italian. Uh, I've been working in Geneva, Switzerland for uh, a particle physics research laboratory. I am a Unix system administrator. I'm Merlita Opeña from the Philippines. I work with the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. And um, we have also a project called eHealth. I'm Elena Zidobin. I am uh, coming from Moldova, Eastern, oh. sunny Eastern Europe. And I work for the International Lab Organization, a project related to prevention of HIV AIDS at the workplace. My name is Holly Ladd. I'm with AED Satellite out of the United States, and we support two projects, one in Mozambique and one in Uganda, to set up health information networks. I would like to know uh, in the area of e-health what are the possibility to go more and more in the open source area and see what are the applications and or the program for a scene now in the future in this field. I'm extremely interested to see a link between health issues and especially that HIV problem and e solutions. So uh, I would be very much interested to see if there is any initiative or any experience uh, some other organizations have in solving health problems on the Internet. I'm interested in how we define the word standard, who, who sets standards, and how we work with local governments to uh, bring the concept of standards uh, into the work that's already going on without drastically changing legacy programs that people and staff are used to using in their practice. I'd like to know if there are applications, uh, user-friendly, affordable, and easy to learn, which can connect people from rural communities to experts uh, in health who can deliver the services even from a distance. Yes, actually, I was surprised to see that this concept actually exists because I thought there is a link, but I didn't know that there is a new health concept. And actually, I found the link on um, HIV AIDS and ICT. So I'm going home with a lot of ideas. And I will go back uh, to propose to our government, as I have access to them, to start maybe working on that. So thank you very much, and I'm really interested to go back on your website. Well, this question uh, it did answer actually my question I had on in AL. I learned that there's a lot going on, but probably at the moment is a uh, um, call uh, individual organizational programs. They, they, they don't seem to fit in. Uh, with each other and uh, but there are some hope and they have expressed the wishes to make them interoperable interoperable <laughs> and i think it's a good hope for the future to get uh, these health uh, e health systems integrated for, for better health care yes it answered my question and i like the broad definition of e health because it encompasses the whole range of what you can do in the health system. So we're in. And there were very critical issues raised, uh, very real issues, uh, which uh, would help us think through whether we are creating more divisions or bridges with the e-health. You know, we didn't have any conversation about standards. Uh, I think there was one mention of standards. I think we still need to define standards, and we still need to talk about how um, we come from an IT side to work with healthcare systems and healthcare policymakers to develop both common definitions and common standards that drive the programming that we do. Did we hear about it today? No, this was, uh, this was a very interesting conversation. Um, it hit a lot of issues. There are so many more things to talk about. Um, we need a whole conference just, just on this. My name is Laurent Alder and I work for IDRC. I'm the Pan-Asia Networking Team Leader. I am based in Ottawa, Canada. 
Um, and I uh, was involved, or was essentially the, the, the session lead for the health outcome session. Um, and uh, I was responsible in the background for getting the whole SMS uh, system um, up and running and uh, helping to ensure that the questions, the right questions, got up there. Um, I think that the session went really quite well. Um, I'm biased, of course, but the, um, the interactivity component, i.e. the fact that we did it as a talk show, and, and the fact that we had the SMS, uh, aspect was absolutely fabulous. It worked the way we wanted it to work. And the questions were interesting, the flow and the pace was very good, and more importantly, the issues that were discussed were extremely important. They actually really talked to the, to the, the big question around e-health and health outcomes. So I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty pumped about this. My name is Michael Clark. I'm the director of the Information and Communications Technologies for Development program area at IDRC. Well, as, as the moderator, um, uh, it, it was uh, particularly interesting for me and actually, I'll be honest, it, it was an awful lot of fun. Um, and, and that was the intention uh, from the outset that uh, we were going to try to make this engaging and, and as informal as possible, but uh, it was the engaging piece that uh, made it fun because the, the audience seemed to take pretty quickly and readily to uh, um, getting involved, uh, commenting, asking questions, SMSing. The, the SMS session, session worked quite well. So I, overall, I'm quite happy, and as I said, I had a good time. So that's just as important.